Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome to a brand new episode of Hogwarts Legacy! <laughs> it's been a while since we were here. Oops. <laughs> Guys, I am so sad. I just recorded about half an hour of footage where I completed some quests and I just found out that my game capture card was playing up and it didn't record the footage and I'm so sad. Anyway, it should be fine now. The quest that we did was um, we captured another animal or beast and we went to beast class. I'm really sad because it was a really fun cutscene in the beast class. We learned Bombarda and we just took a quest from this girl um, in, reg in regards to the um, mer people, which sounds really cool. She basically asked us to dive down there because she wants to be a liaison. Um, to the mer people for the ministry of magic in the future and apparently they've left a gift for her in a cave underwater cave which i think we should go check out now um anyway i'm sad i didn't record i'm so sorry about that hopefully um it's all good i caught you up on what's happened god it is cold here i am worried that like something's gonna come and get me i think like a stone please don't okay let's swim over so these are the leaky caves? Is that what you're saying? There's like a little whirlpool? Let's dive down. In the cold. Freezing cold water. Oh! Look oh. at this place! I didn't expect us to Did actually go into the cave. Leave an artifact? Whoa! This is cool. Okay. Lumos. Lumos! Oh, we need to um... Hopefully not kill the butterfly. Oops. Luma. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Um, oh, there's so many. Okay, we don't know what's gonna happen yet, but I've got butterflies and that's all good. Oh, we just need to put all three of them in here. Now for the rest of you. Oh no. Confringo. Lumos. Come on, baby. Okay. Well, at least, like, you didn't miss the most important things. I just didn't realize that my capture card was playing up, which is sad. It's all good. Oh, this is a fun quest. I really hope we're gonna interact with actual mer people. That'd be so cool. I was just talking about, like, how intrigued I am by them, because we don't know that much about them. And they're depicted as quite, like, an what evil do we folk. Have in here, then? Is this a gift? Nerida will be happy about this. Whoa, Mermish artifact? That's so cool! Okay, this was a fun quest. Like, I don't know we didn't have to do it that much, but like, how cute. Okay, let's go back and give her the gift. I wish we got to interact with them. That'd be so cool. I kind of wish you could look underwater as well. Okay, let's quickly go back and see her. Look how beautiful it is around here. I love it. I'm kind of wondering if some of the quests are season bound. I don't know. How have you guys been, by the way? I really hope you've been well. Right. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. No, Our it's okay. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. Right, happy to have helped. Um, enjoy your gift. I've decided to keep the gift. Listen, when I do my evil run, I'm going to keep the gift. Then it's I'm really glad cool. we helped to foster some Necklace. healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvelous. I'm going to show it to it everyone. It's beautiful. Including the ministry. Should I hand deliver or send Hand deliver, 100%. Thank Don't send it. again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. Thank you so much. This was a fun I quest. I can't wait to study this. Oh, so cute. She seems so passionate about it. Um, then, okay, so the other quest we were going to do... Oh, we're almost level 25. Oh la la. Um, the other quest we were going to do was uh, Professor Weasley's one where we're going to find this, like, book page, field guide page. All right, let's, um... Let's try it. Hello? Whoa, what the heck? The design. Oh my god, look at the design, you guys. 
I love the detailing in the arches. That's nice. Revelio. Let's quickly Revelio this. See if we can find some things. So apparently this is the underground harper. I wonder what this is used for. Oh wait, isn't this where they get the um, kids into the- No, that's the boathouse. Into the school, I feel like, during the um, first year ceremony, but I guess not. Oh, we're close. There it is. Take this, please. Underground harbor, located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard, is the landing for boats delivering first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. So I was right. I was correct. I'm quickly gonna check if there's any more Rebellion. loot. Wow, so imagine this, this being your first experience harbor. with it. Oh yeah, she's never been here before. Oh, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Sorry. I didn't realize it was that kind of chest. Thank you. Cool, is that everything we can do in here? Oh. Fighter courtyard. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look. Whoa, look at this lift! <gasps> All the details! That is stunning! Oh my god, that makes me so excited. Wow. Stunning. For I can't wait to watch you try. <laughs> Peeps. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness. I actually cannot believe the amount of like book details they've put in this game. Oh yeah, we're going to library, that's why. Okay, intermediate transfiguration. Which is up the staircase. <laughs> um in here somewhere. Here? That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Yes, how did you know? Did I did I look like the kind of person who needs that book in their lives? Professor Weasley asked that me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge Typical trivia. Ravenclaw. I, I am one, argue that so I can no say this. Is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. I'm so excited, hit me. None of the other me. students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Alright, let's do it. Could be fun. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Okay. Before the invention of this the is golden annoying, snitch, though. which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Golden Snuggery, Golden Snidget, or the Snake Bird? Oh God, I don't, I don't remember this. I think it'll be Golden Snuggery, Golden Snidget, the Snake Bird, I the guess. The Snake Bird. No, incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The snitch was I'm first talking introduced about. to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix. Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. I know this. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I know all this. Magical artifacts. Um, Deathly Hallows, the darling. Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak, and the cloak of, of invisibility. invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Snitch, Bludger, Quaffle. Ooh, I don't know if the Bludger or the Quaffle are the biggest, actually. Because obviously, like, Bludgers are used to knock people off their brooms, so they have to be quite hefty. I feel like the quaffle is quite big because it has to be thrown around. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to say quaffle. The quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is <laughs> awarded 10 points. True or false? 
Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Well, I guess. Oh. I think so. I think I heard a story of someone being stuck as a different species. Also, look at Hermione. Hermione turned into half a cat. True. I'm going to say true. Actually, the answer was false. Wait, what about Hermione then? this potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, Girl, I you're wrong. it's gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal. You're now. wrong. Hermione if turned into a cat. Your knowledge again, also, I'm pretty sure someone got stuck in the hospital. Like and the I wizarding hospital. I can't remember the name. Questions but, um, the next ones will be more difficult. As a... Not now. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. As a different species. Right? I put Am the I book back on the pedestal Thanks. for you. Avelio ought to make quick work of this. Alright, let's quickly get it. Book on Intermediate Transfiguration. This book is designed to help guide the student who wishes um, to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to her advanced students as a bit of light reading. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend transfiguration. Ooh, Some more stuff around here. I guess last time we didn't have time. Oh, this is in the library, isn't it? Um... Mm. Oh, it's right there. Let's go get this butterfly real quick. Out of my way. Any spell. Why can't you can see that? Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Come with me, please. Coming through. Oh, well. Getting stuck on bookcases. Excuse me. Nox. You know what I found out today? Apparently, um... Apparently you can say Lumos to your phone like Siri or Google and it lightens up your torch. I'm gonna do it. Excuse me, sorry. Lumos. Turning flashlight on. And then? You ready? Nox. Turning flashlight off. So cool! I love it. Basically a real wizard. My fizzing whiz beer is still brewing. These things take time. Oh my god, Gareth. Get Professor a grip. Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. And we're here. Transfiguration class. I look so happy. Beautiful. Goodness. Settle down. Settle down. I love that we're the only ones standing. <laughs> as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we oh, I like the texture on the desks. Very Almost realistic. Anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Beautiful. Now, you all know what to do. Sebastian's in the background. A lie. Right. Bam. Transformation, baby. I wonder what we're gonna do. Oh, cute. A born natural, what can I say? So cute. Oh, beautifully so done. wholesome. I wonder what crazy things you could make, that and if something has to have like. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. Oh God, we're gonna do owls. Be here before you know it. Um, we will speak to Professor. Weasley You're quite soon. close to Professor Fig, aren't you? I've always wondered about him. Never see him actually teaching. Yeah, not really. That's a good point, actually. Hmm. That is a good point. Um, yeah, I wonder if you have to give something of equal... In herbology, dare I say, blossom. Something of equal value. Like, say you want to make a butterfly, do you have to give something in return that is an equal value in alchemy? You wanted to discuss my progress so like far this term, Alchemist. Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, Thank you. 
excelling in your schoolwork this Thank year. Thank you so much. That makes me so happy. The assignments have helped, despite spending so much time on assi assignments. They Thank helped. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Oh, why, thank you. you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the owlery connected in any way to Professor Fink? What does she know? Oh, I feel like we need to tell her. I don't fully trust Professor Fig, you know. I feel like he's going to be a bad guy. I think we should say yes. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore Just in when case. I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Thank you so much, Until Professor then, Weasley. Well done. You are dismissed. That's so sweet. Oh my god, I wonder what our exams if are going to be like. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. I might give it a go. Let's give it a go. Where is it? Transfiguration. There. Oh god. Assigning it to everything. <laughs> I'm getting very excited. Let's try it. Oh, a barrel. Oh, it takes a long time. So that mean we can change people into things? I'm gonna leave that for now. Um, can we get into this? Oh, we can. A little more. Oh no. Triptic. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Okay, Sebastian. Okay, nice. Alohomora. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need. Oh, why did it fail, dude? South of Hogwarts. Meet me there. And bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook? I, I can't remember who Amit does. Mentioning something of about course. Gobbledygook. Of course it's Amit. Dear Professor Weasley, thank you for your owl. I'm overjoyed to hear that this most recent crop of seventh years includes a number of students who might be interested and well suited for a career at the ministry. Of course, their OWLs will provide confirmation of the latter, but equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective given your experience with us and for that I'm truly grateful. I look forward to further updates as the term progresses. Respectfully yours, Ferris Spavin, Minister for Magic London. Oh wow. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get a recommendation. I think that's everything in here. What question would you next? We miss Sebastian's owl. I don't know what he just said. I'm just quickly gonna listen to this again. Since our visit to Felcroft, something's dawned on me about the triptych that we found. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Oh, you guys know how much I love Sebastian's quest. Um, this is another main quest, so that'd be fun to do. Um, a dragon debrief, I actually really want to do, because I really enjoyed that quest with um, Poppy, and also we did that in the last um, episode, and I feel like that's quite a recent thing that we can continue and round off. So let me just go to the world map. And let's go find her real quick. Let's go find Poppy in the three broomsticks. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Oh, not yet, my darling. Soz. Soon, though. Poppy, let's talk. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons Poppy. in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. Mm. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. 
The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange. Maybe it has like a, a secret power that nowhere. makes it angry or something? Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow kind of like control Imperial? the poor creatures. Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That'd be so cool. Another dragon quest. Yeah, let's do That's it. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. Thanks, Poppy. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. Okay. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Oh, God. Um... Oh, we can trust Poppy, surely. Rookwood is working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Okay, I'll thank you, Bobby. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. I can't wait to do another dragon quest. <gasps> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Alright, up next. God, there's so many quests around here. Ugh. Okay, I think we should just talk to them and take the quests. And then later on choose whether we want to do the quest. I'll fix him, that charm grinder. Let's speak to him. S sir, is everything all right? How you kind are, of to ask. The name's Ackley I like his character design, it's cool. No, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend Are we about to be part of, of a crime? What am I getting involved he in? He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him. Wow. Volatile. Yeah, you better show him. I can see why. How frustrating for that you. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes, it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. Which a is? A tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one <laughs> would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand This sounds like a Slytherin day? thing to do, man. I mean, I'm gonna take it. I'm not comfortable with this. You can say no. Yeah, what was your business? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacular, create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's Neasel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. I mean, that's not great, my sir. What else is in this cellar? What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit? And I can get my business going, minus any competition. He's telling me to steal. I don't know if I want to do this quest. I'm going to do it anyway. I'll get the That's fun. Tentacular for you. But, Marvelous. um. I know a fellow secret Let's hope we don't go to ask I see one. <laughs> Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All That's hilarious. Is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. I don't know if we should take any of the supplies. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Oh, the quest is literally down here. Should just do it. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. I mean, it's down here. I can't believe I'm doing this. This must be it. I guess we're going in. Why am I doing this again? <laughs> I'm stealing from this someone. This must be the cellar. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. Oh, shit. He's right there. Fuck. Avelia. 
Oh god, if I get caught, this could be a problem. Hmm, can I climb over? No. Okay, he's on the move. Oh god. So keep walking, please. Okay, he's going. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. I'm just gonna, just gonna snoop around. I can't even take this. Avelia. I don't wanna take his money though. Oh god. Venomous tentacular. I don't want to steal any money because I feel like that's not why I'm here. Avelia. Oh god, he's coming after me! What the fuck? Dude, what kind of seller is this? He's got fucking spiders protecting it? Oh my god. I'm just gonna try and sneak past. Avelia. Without making any sounds. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. I might just take some of these. Oh god. Okay, I think this is it. If there's any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must <sighs> find it. I'm requesting you Avelia. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Oh. Poor Sebastian. Yeah. Go, go, go. <sighs> Run. Okay, we are almost there. Avelia. Hello, Amora. Oh god, this is scary. So we don't know what he's doing. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm, I don't want to get caught. Run! Run! Girl! Get out of here! This is creepy! This man clearly has some weird shit going on in this cave. <laughs> oh, thank god. I'm glad we actually didn't take that much. We just took dits and he leaves. Like, that's not too bad. Nice, got another field guy page! Butterbeer barrels. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. Oh. I can imagine like house elves getting really drunk on it. That's hilarious. Oh, dude, that here you go. Errand for me. I had nothing Hello, to do with Mr. this, Bonds. okay? I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. All right. I'd like to be paid. Not happy of to course. be rid of it. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. You're welcome. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, thank you. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cell. Thank cellar. you. Bye. Um, right. Avelio. There's a book there, I think. Is that a book or an owl? I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean Oh my god, so many quests! Where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. I mean, we are here now. We might as well. Got so many Sebastian quests as well. 
Okay, let's speak to let's speak to Poppy. I want to do the dragon egg quest. I'm just so intrigued by this whole storyline. All right. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. Oh. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Oh god, I hope no one's come after her because of what we've been doing. What was she sending what you? What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the needs. Oh, it runs in the family. That's so cute. What was she researching? What kind though? of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week, she was studying leg knots in plimpies. Plimpies, that's so cute. Right, you said you had some news about the dragon. Let's hear it. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Okay. How do you track do you a track dragon's dragon flight? How does she know gone? how to do all Tree this stuff? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. That's cool. Makes sense. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. Poppy's so cool. I can't cool. be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Okay, of let's do it. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. Mm. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. I hope she's not going to get angry with this. Seems a bit dangerous. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand Maybe she'll why remember? we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I hope so. Okay, well let's then, find her. Let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. Okay. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Okay, good to know. Oh, be so clever. Thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Oh god, this is kind of scary. Um. Okay. Let's go. Stunning. Oh god. There Poppy. she is. Above us. She did make it home safely. Oh good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Oh my god, that's scary that she's right above us. Oh, what's this? Nice. Found some gold. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving. There's some burn marks, I think? Or what are these? Or eggs of some sort? Yeah, they are eggs. Ashwinder eggs. Please don't hurt us. Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. I hope she's not going to attack us. This is scary. I'm going to stick to the edge. There's something here. Some more gold. She's disappeared. Rebellia. Oh, I think this is where they set up camp. For what is worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came what to What are do. those wolves? Are they wolves? It's hard to tell. Uh. I might quickly add... Um, I kind of want to add the transfiguration one to see what that's going to look like. Then that's it. Okay. 
king. They're both gone now. Oh no, they're not. Okay. Got some fur. Hope she didn't hear that. Rebellion. Um, I think that's everything around here. What's this? Where are you, Smithy? I thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about fighting the ring, about the fighting ring. But the true galleons are in Acromantulus. You wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago. Not to mention Borneo's not half bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving soon. Egypt, perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Revelia. Talking about how cute the other person is. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to repair this, I assume. Oh god, I I'm worrying she's gonna spot us. There she is again. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Poppy, I'm a bit worried about like how familiar you stay with these. Fantastic. Um, I don't think she'll be very friendly towards us, especially if she sees we have an egg. Like she might think that we took it. I just hope she's gonna recognize us. Rebellion. Okay. Let's keep going up. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides That's very lucky. reassuring, Poppy. How lucky for us. Guys, I'm sorry. Can we quickly look at this view? Oh. It's so stunning. Oh my goodness. This game is insane. Like in every possible way. I honestly can't recommend it enough. If you're enjoying the Let's Play. And you have a PlayStation. Please play it. I mean, I think it's also on other platforms anyway. But you know. Watch your step. Rebellion. I think we're gonna have to slide down. There's a fire there. It oh my god. Must have been starved to pick off a grab horn. Oh wait, I didn't or even just see. raring for a fight. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm a bit worried. I love that we're being like really realistic and Poppy's just like, oh, this poor little thing. <laughs> Oh, there's multiple ones. Damn, they've just been left behind. Oh god, there's a lot of fire. Revelio. A lot of things on fire, puppy. Quiet. What was that? Uh-oh. I think you should go hide, no? Okay, so I'm guessing she spotted us. There's no turning back Fucking hell! Get past the dragon and closer to her nest? Um... I'm trying, Poppy. Wait, one more. Run! Um, where should we go next? God. Puppy? Okay, 
Okay, we're right beneath her now. Oh my goodness. Poppy, she does not look, look happy. Here. I feel like we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> we're just two little Hogwarts students. It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. Um, I don't know where to go. Okay, first down. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the left. Oh, she isn't making it easy. No. Is that one next? Oh god. One more and then we'll go. Run! Oh. Not a warm welcome. Oh my it's god. What did you expect? Welcome. Lol. Poppy, come on, you didn't expect her to like actually be fine, right? Oh god. Uh, I don't suppose she'd listen to reason. <laughs> I normally try, but we're well past that. Okay, one more. So uh, twice. Uh. Run. Oh, some eggs. I feel like we shouldn't take eggs in front of her because she'd be like, excuse me, did you take mine too? Get to that opening below her. I'm trying, Poppy. God. Oh God. I got stuck, Poppy. One more. Okay. Run. Run. She's leaving quickly. Brilliant. She might come after us, though. No. Oh God, she's gonna come after us. Revelia. Who put these chests here? There's the nest. We're almost there. Okay. That's probably where she's heading, no? Like, if I were her, I'd still have that maternal instinct of, like, wanting to protect it. And I'd go back there straight away. Confringo. Hmm. Oh my god, this is insane. Why is every bridge here broken? What is this quest? Repair it. Alright, that should be fixed now. It's probably because she broke it, you know? Okay, guys, it was nice knowing you. Let's go. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Quickly. Ha. Place it, and let's be gone. Uh oh. Guys. Maybe we should go. Does she get it? Oh god, puppy. <gasps> oh my god. Don't pet the dragon, puppy. Holy crap. That was insane. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. 
Oh my god, that was insane. People don't give creatures enough credit. She tried to kill us. No, she didn't. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. <laughs> That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons I again. I want to save more dragons. It's so cool. I'm not ready to leave. No, 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 but I'm ready to head back. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Haunt Owl Hall, I half expect to There's be There's probably like stuff to be I'm found, found around this area, but I kind of like move on with some of the quests. Fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Mm. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Dragon is your grandmother? I wonder if they came for your grandmother. Poppy, I want to know. How could I have been so blind? Poppy, tell me. Talk to me. Why is she... Oh, she left. She didn't even say anything, she just left. Dude, what the? Anyway. It's fine. Oh god, there's so much going on. Um, oh, oh, we leveled up. Let's quickly um, get another talent point. Oh, a new spell set. Hold R2 and tap in any direction. Lovely. So that means we can now hopefully use another spell set. Okay, let's do that. Let's do the um, relic with the catacomb first and then do the other main quest with him maybe. Oh my god, it was unlocked this whole time. I'm just stupid. Okay, this is very fighty. And then if we have another one, I'll do more like the fun one. There's someone with a question around here. This guy? Oh no, there's a field, a field guy page. Oh my god, I can't talk. A field quest. Feldcroft Well. The well in Feldcroft ran dry some 400 years ago during the Great Drought. Sadly, more uh, many perished as a result, including the last one, including at least one young boy whose father refused to speak for years thereafter. Legend says that all was saved when a group of benevolent witches and wizards used a never-before-seen powerful magic to restore water to the region. All right, let's go meet Sebastian. Woo! Oh, if more balloons. Let's get some balloons. Are they flying behind me? I'm just trying to get some balloons, you guys. What the fuck? They keep trying to come for me. Rude. Um, Sebastian, I just had tons of people trying to attack me. Like, there's a lot of goblins and stuff around here. You're here. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, Let's talk. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. How are you I doing? I one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. Was there anything else in the student's report? I'd be interested report? to know what else the student Good discovered. Question. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Okay, let's I'm explore. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. Yeah, we're, we're literally By around the, way, the corner. Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. He literally listened in Ominous to like would be livid our if conversation. Ominous we were dude. about to do. Oh, I really like Ominous. All right, let's read the student report. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I'd imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room which had suffered decay amid the turned over sarcophagi, I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately, I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further, if only the removal of the objects were allowed. 
I'll be and I guess we're about to, to do what what's not allowed. To what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. I'll try not to. Rebellion. Oh, it could also be spiders. Um. Bye. Oh god, that scared the frick out of me, dude. Nice. Bombarda is great. Now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Oh. Don't start. Alright, let's um, get this. A <laughs> nomad hat. Let me also. Um, let's see what this out. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. I agree, thank you. There's nothing in these though. It's taller than it looks. Ah, okay, so what we need is to move. Let me also. Um, move it over. Okay, so I've been silly. I need Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. And bring that over here. Oh. And then... Nope. Climb up. And then get the chest. Finding a chest Rebellion. in a conspicuous loft. Brilliant. <laughs> you sound so sarcastic. I wonder what else we're gonna find. A rat. Multiple rats. Love that for me. Oh god. I love that that one just like <laughs> sped past. Okay, nice. Anything else? Revelio. Um, nothing in this room. Mm, anything else? Revelio. Some strange writing on this wall. Oh. I'll take the money, though. Dollar, dollar bills. Revelio. All right, I think we should just go in. So they're big ones. Got all of these bad boys. Let's all loot the place. It no longer feels like a tomb. Yeah, it's very I've pretty. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Revelio. Hey, where can I? Hmm. Leviosa. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Confringo. There we go. Revelia. Looks like it's already been raided. Spider Fang. And a Tartan Blazer uniform. You'd think like the levels of them would just keep going up. But I guess they don't. Right, there's definitely some spideys. 
Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Um, grandeur and then some. Okay, so we want to get in here. With a pile of You're oh, such a Slytherin. Arms outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. That's gonna need repair of some sort, I think. Okay, let's have a quick look. Revelia. What's in here? Did you hear that? We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Oh god, it's gonna be dead people. I'm worried about we probably shouldn't open these. It's now set us up to like blindly trust opening all of these. Mm. What if I what if I what if I repair all these? Repair. No. What was again? Levy. Go back through here and then let's put that with There's something here by the altar. Oh, does that not work? Does it not go through? No, it has to stay here. Okay, I was gonna say like why can't it go through? Do we have to like build it in here? Revelio. Okay, that did something. Um, is there anything else in here? What is this? Okay. And then the rest of it is down there, so there must be something else we can do. Okay. Oh, this is not going to be like an army of the undead that we're going to have to fight. Okay, it just built it up. Fun times. Um, let's grab stuff from the shelves. And then see what's in here. Can I sneak in here? What's We've this? made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. What is all this? What the devil snare? Lumos. I need to find a safe way across. We need to light things. Hello, can I have this? Oh, wait. I didn't even see the journal entry. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay. The research must come before my faulty my fealty to the rules. I sent something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by the English Oak Ones have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one's looking, I acted. When no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment, learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Um, I don't know if we should talk about that, Sebastian. Like, mm, there's... That's not good. Maybe we need more bones later? At least this will complete this. I'm worried about what I just freed. Revelia. Potentially. Oh. Wait, but like, what about this area? 
Maybe I'm not supposed to do that yet. Let's speak to Sebastian first. Sorry, Looks I'm like getting ahead of myself. Looks like diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Okay. What are you thinking about? And where do, do you think, think the pages, were pages came purpose? from? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. I of guess course. we won't know. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Revelia. All right, so I know we have to go in there. But like, what about this area? Okay. If we do that again. Nice. Nice. Is that all of them? I think so. Okay. Alright. Love it. Now what's waiting for us in the next room? God, this is creepy, dude. Oh, look at these. Creep oh, it's creepy. Luckily we have the power of the magic. Gear slots are full. What the heck, man? Freestanding clock. God, I need to decorate my um, room of requirement at some point soon. Okay, listen. <sighs> I need to sell stuff. I didn't think this through. I didn't think I was going to have to, like, loot so much. I think that's everything. In here. Ooh, a renaissance cap. I think that's all. Is that all? Yes. Alright, Sebastian. Are you ready for this? Let's go. It's gonna be spiders in here. Lovely for me. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. I don't so, like it, Sebastian. If you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Teach me, but I don't want to use it. How do you know it? Why did you learn the Imperio? That's curse? a good question. I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. I'm worried about Sebastian. I want to learn it. It's wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. Doesn't mean I'm going to use it. A spell it. that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. I thought I'd use it on you. It's almost like a four. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Some kind of massive spider. Oh god, there's so much, so many enemies in here. I don't know if I'm ready to fight them all. Where should we go first? Confringo. Maybe 
this one? Well, we can't go any further for now. Spider Fang. It's loot. Is one more thing here? Okay. I see you. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. Revelia. I try. Okay, um, so look at the symbols. The symbols are on the doors. So it could be either one, I guess. This is for a round one, and the round one would be that one. So that shouldn't matter. I think. And then it says that one. Which, Rebellion. unfortunately, isn't that one. But also, we can do. Hmm. This, this looks different than what we faced before. Yeah. Now we're also dealing with Runesome. Rebellion. That works. Keep going. Okay, so that opened this one. Rebellion. Um, we need that one now. But I could open that. What we need is um, just not use that one. Just use that. One. Okay. We're solving puzzles, baby. Um, and you that are should head be and it. shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. And then all we need is this, that one, and the circle one. Mm. And then what was the other one? That one. Okay, there we go. Without releasing the spider. I'm proud. Rebellion. Let's keep going. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. This looks like a big place, so I feel like we should go the other way, you know? God, that's a big mama. Confringo. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Yeah, they're pretty disgusting, my dude. Um, okay. Let's quickly raid the place. Loot the place. Oh god. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like spiders. Let's get this first and pull this out. Rebellion. There. 
What is this? Ooh. Oh, we can build potions. Oh god. That means something's coming. Okay. What's in there? Unidentified item. Let's keep going. Uh, we can go into this room now. Confringo. Oh, can we not? Rebellion. What? Confringo. I was gonna say, it's like, excuse me. Revelia. So if I Revelio a lot, I just don't want to bump into um, surprise spiders. Oh, freaking gear slots, man. Stop it. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> I should have sold it before I went into this quest. I bet you guys are all screaming at me in the comments. Dark desert scarf. Hello. A stylish casual school uniform. Because if not, it would not be stylish. Alright, let's keep going and find this relic, you guys. Something's gonna come out of these side bits. Yep. Big ass spiders. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the pulse. Oh god! I, I can't find it. I'm gonna give up. Okay. A lot of enemies. Nice. Why is it running around? Oh, because he's making it run around. Oh god. Oh god, it's weird when they're running around. I don't like it. I refuse to use Imperial, okay? I'd rather set them on fire and burn them. Bastion, don't run into their fangs, silly man. Okay, we're good. For a moment there, I thought that would never end. I'm glad we did that without using Imperial. I'm glad we haven't used other Brinkers. I really want to avoid doing so because it's just not something I personally would do. Um, and I don't think I can justify it to myself. Where did I put the pulso? Oh, on the right. I'm silly. Okay, so one to the right. So what is this meant to be? No. That looked like the thing in the trailer, so I was like, oh, maybe it's that, but I guess not. Okay, that's burning. I thought it was, but I guess not. What is this? Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. There'll be something else. Revelio. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Let's read whatever note this is or... Oh. Is that a drawing of it? The relic contains abundant potential. 
Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind but the world, but the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Sebastian, the relic, look! Don't take it. Could it be? Don't take it. The note and rendition of it the relic. It says not to take it. Matches. it. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. Sebastian, no. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant no. by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. <sighs> it's probably going to be a Vada Kedavra, isn't it? We should leave it alone. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake. You're Delulu. I'm it. Delusional. Let's get to Feldcroft. Oh god, Avada Kedavra is gonna be the I next must step. Keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. That's the only way he's gonna be able to use it by using Avada Kedavra. Oh, is that ominous? Did he follow us? Oh god, we're in trouble. It's gonna be like our mum shouting at us. Ominous. Oh, we're in trouble. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. I don't want to keep Sebastian, secrets from, please, from him. Leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I agree. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm no. taking it. No. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both Are of you. Are they going to duel? Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine. But Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. I don't want to persuade Ominous. I want to persuade Sebastian. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? I agree. Something has to. I need your help. Let's talk with Sebastian. Right. I agree. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. I feel Good. like the sacrifice We're is going to have to be about a allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I don't want to leave with I the I relic. Don't this. We Sebastian, will. we're ready. Oh god. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. I bet you he's going to have to use a Vada Kedavra to well, use the relic. What happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. He's becoming Delulu. I don't like it. <gasps> I I'm... Fully siding with Ominous here. I think Sebastian's going down a very dark, wrong route. Lumos. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm lost. I'm sorry. I went the wrong way. And I have a feeling Sebastian will not step away from sacrificing other people. <sighs> oh, Sebastian. We leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. Do you blame he him? He's troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I don't blame I him. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Dude, I just... It's not... You can't... It's not the same. You're gonna do something very, very wrong. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. God, there's so many goblins. Oh my god, what is happening in your hometown? 
Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlets. Someone set it on fire. Velkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. What is happening? Are people fighting? Where is everyone? Not quite. You can't stop Let's help everyone. Our uncle's I fighting. Oh god. You won't get Let's help our uncle. I'm trying to help you, dude. I'm trying to block, guys. Sorry. Sometimes it just doesn't line up. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, give me two seconds while I recompose myself. Where is everyone? Is Am fighting as well? Oh my god, bless her. Where's the last one? You'll not win here. Finish him. Fucking hell. Oh, Am. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Will that have activated the um, relic? Because it's a forbidden curse. Oh my god, what is happening? Sebastian! Did he just make him kill himself? Dude, Sebastian. Boy! What have you done? They really look Save like one another. My sister. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The you could have just used a different spell, dude. Life. Come on. That goblin was going to kill her. It may have been the wrong choice. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. <sighs> this it is just escalating. It's getting worse. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. Mm -hmm. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Okay. Bye, Sebastian. <sighs> Let's speak to the uncle. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. I'm not. He went too far. Sebastian acted rashly, but he acted out of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? With an unforgivable curse? Yeah, that's pretty fucked. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be I undone. I agree, you know, like, you he could have just come Sebastian's up with something else. But you are defending behaviour at all. Tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty no. as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft. Nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, 
If either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Fair enough. Do it. Why, Sebastian? Revelia. Oh, I can tell he's in pain. I'm just going to leave the place. Get all of the lovely, lovely loot. There's something in there. Confringo. Um. Revelia. I agree with him. I can't blame him for... I mean, not necessarily banishing Sebastian, but there's only so much you can do. Okay. In the next episode... Oh, we need to speak to Sebastian. Maybe we should do that first. Because then we finish the quest. Let's go find him in the Undercroft and discuss things. Right, you guys. Let's head into the Undercroft. And talk to Sebastian about this. That's bad though, like he's going down a very dark path and I just know to activate the relic you're gonna have to use dark magic. And then like the death spell. Hey dude. Did you speak with my uncle? I did. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What crest are you sending to what Anne? What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organising her prized possessions. A box of artefacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewellery, cards, old photographs. She got to her favourite. A handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I don't fully I'll though. send you an owl when I have news. Okay. <sighs> Guys. I feel like Sebastian's just going down a hill. Not good. Oh my god. I just know he's gonna have to use a Vada Kedavra to use a relic. Either we are gonna get sacrificed or ominous. And I have a feeling we might have to make a choice at the end. Like what path we go down. Difficult situation! Anyway, in the next episode, let's have a quick look at what we're gonna do. Um, in the next episode, we should definitely finish this quest with Sebastian as well. These two main quests I'd like to do. Um, I'd also quickly like to finish off uh, Professor Garlic's assignment. I would also love to do Natty's and Poppy's quest and then these ones I might either keep for a stream or I might just like spend a day just doing side quests because there's so many. Anyway, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more, have a lovely, lovely day guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.